It's the age of the customer. In this day and age, becoming a customer-centric organization is no longer just a differentiator. It is a necessity. Customers are now more demanding. Their expectations are higher. In fact, they expect companies to anticipate their needs. To truly become a customer-centric organization, we must adopt a customer-centric culture. Research has shown that a customer-centric culture can drive superior financial results. So, what characterizes a customer-centric culture? Let's begin by taking a look at the corporate culture framework, depicted in this PowerPoint slide. We see this culture framework defines four core indices and four differentiating indices. Collective focus, which has an emphasis on collaboration, teaming, and cooperation in operations. Risk and governance, with a focus on compliance, quality, and structure in operations. External orientation, this area is oriented towards customers and the external environment. Change and innovation, which exhibits an openness to ambiguity change, and risk to drive expansion and innovation. Courage. Employees exhibit courage and resilience when confronting adversity, ethical dilemmas, failures, or opposition. Commitments. Employees feel a sense of pride and ownership in the organization. Inclusion. This index accepts and promotes diversity, uniqueness, and authenticity. Shared beliefs. Employees demonstrate commitment to the organization's specific core values and beliefs. Core indices are foundational to organizational culture, whereas differentiating indices drive differentiated performance. Developing a more customer-centric culture requires full understanding and integration of core and differentiating indices. However, there is an emphasis on just four of these dimensions. Collective focus. External orientation. Change and innovation and shared beliefs. Let's dig a little deeper into these four indices. First, we will discuss collective focus. Understandably, organizations that provide exceptional customer experience have strong collective focus. Collective focus means everyone in the organization is united in their understanding of their roles in delivering our customer value proposition. Employees must internalize and appreciate this shared vision on what it means to deliver a great customer service. To achieve this, significant resources must be devoted to communicating the customer value proposition. Specifically, we must also conduct extensive employee training and coaching to ensure that companies' vision and value proposition are systematically represented in our service offerings and products. Here are several best practices related to enhancing our collective focus. 1. Provide customer feedback in real time to all employees. Also, invest heavily in employee training and development to reinforce the company's vision for serving customers. We should listen to employee input to identify ways to improve the customer experience. Furthermore, link employee and customer feedback systems so that employees can add important context. The next index of critical importance to building a customer-centric culture is external orientation. Customer-centric companies that have strong external orientation are squarely focused on customers, competitors, and results. Employees must take an outside-in perspective, seeing themselves as customers see them. Next, there's also change and innovation. Customer-centric companies place a premium on change and innovation. An organization with a customer-centric culture has a corporate belief system in place that values failing fast and learning quickly. The notion that mistakes or learning opportunities is embedded in the organization. Customer needs and expectations are changing rapidly. Thus, we must innovate continuously to respond to these changes. Last but not least, there are shared beliefs to drive a customer-centric culture. Specifically, with a customer-centric culture, employees find fulfillment in sharing the belief that servicing customers well is the priority. Processes are created to reinforce customer-centric values and make them relevant to new employees. So, how is your organization doing across these four cultural dimensions? Do you see any area missing from this framework? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Also, do you want to gain a better understanding of these indices that drive customer centricity? In the video description below, we have included links to frameworks on all the key management concepts discussed in this video. As you may already be aware, the area of customer-centric design, CCD, 
is becoming more and more important in management. You can gain the knowledge and develop the expertise to become an expert in CCD through the best practices available on Flevi. Our frameworks are based on the thought leadership of leading consulting firms, academics, and recognized subject matter experts. Links to our relevant offers are in the description. In the modern digital age, advances in technology and communication, combined with the explosive growth in data information, have given rise to a more empowered global customer. Recent economic and political events highlight the need for organizations to understand how consumers view the world and the most important attributes for their purchasing decisions. Thus, increasingly more organizations are seeking to invest and focus on customer-centric design. A clear understanding of customer needs and behaviors across the organization will help drive profitable growth strategies and provide the confidence to invest in opportunities at a time when staying within budget can be extremely difficult. We have included links to all frameworks referenced in this video in the video description. If you have any questions, please leave them as comments below. If you enjoy these types of videos on business frameworks, methodologies, and management models, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out flevy.com directly for thousands of best practice business frameworks and tools. We regularly publish videos like this one across a multitude of management topics, from business model innovation to process improvement to organizational design.